guys welcome back to the channel today is going to be an awesome day we are going to install the parent front mount intercooler on my 2019 sti as well as a carbon fiber grill and some hella horns you know it's just gonna be a fun day so stick around So I got all the tools laid out and the first thing we got to do is take off this bumper. All right, so these are the little clips. You just gotta push this tab in, and then they come out. And when you put it back in, you gotta reload it like that, so it's sticking out. And that'll allow you to push this into the bumper, and then pop this back in. One of the things that I think is going to be a little challenging is attaching these uh, the splitter supports to the new parent crash bar. So hopefully we get something figured out for that. Right now it's attached to the stock crash beam, which is coming off the car. So these are my custom made brake cooling ducts and I'm just disconnecting the hose that goes to the brakes. is off. And it looks like 
looks like I didn't need to unbolt all those bolts that I just took off, so. <laughs> I thought they were all attached to this piece, but only these three were. So I can put them back on before we reinstall it. But all this is coming off. This beam's coming off. I'm gonna undo these. I don't know if these are going to be long enough to reach from the splitter to the new crash bar, which is going to be somewhere up here on the parent. So we'll see. I might have to order a set of these that's longer. So if you ever decide to put this Vir Virus Engineering splitter on your car, you have to drill holes in the crash beam to get it, um, to get these to mount, which is what I did, and now this doesn't want to come out. on there so that the air can be directed into the radiator. So, got to cut these tabs off here. These two and this one so that the intercooler will sit flat on this piece. And then we can bolt it up. I might need to move these lights. Not sure. But we'll find out. Looks like it'll fit without moving anything. Okay. Got two bolts in. One more to go. She fits.
Alright guys, so this cool little STI banner, whatever you want to call it, has got to go because we're going to be cutting this bumper. And I'll show you. There's a template the parent sent. It's a vinyl that so you can stick on here. Lines up with these two holes. And then you just cut and trace with the Dremel really carefully. I just does not want to. Well, it looks like it's metal. I thought it was plastic. in the Faction Fab front license plate cover. <laughs> so I got Faction Fab coilovers, the FR specs, which is like their racing line, and instead of their front brake pads, and they are the best brake pads that I've found for this STI, as far as aftermarket goes. They actually fit, and they don't rattle that much like the other brands do. Occasionally they do, but I think you'd get that on stock ones too sometimes. Actually, I'm going to cut this. Front bumper is really slippery because I put some wax on it or something. All right, guys, quick little update. Oh, man, this has been a pain in the butt. Anyway, working on the engine. Got the stock intercooler out. Got the parent installed. I'm running the piping right now. And just having fun. Just taking a little bit of extra time than I expected. Uh, I'm still cutting the bumper. So that should be done here in a little bit. Actually enlisting my wife to help me out because she's a little bit steadier hand. And we're actually going to cut the big top plastic part out with kind of like an exacto knife or a box cutter so other than that just moving right along I did get the uh, tank installed so for the windshield washer reservoir this is the coolant overflow tank and it's supposed to bolt up right here but we'll get all the uh, get all the hoses run and show you more when we get closer to being finished. That Apollo kid is so wavy.
piping ran. Just got to connect it up to the throttle body, tighten down all the clamps, then install the overflow tank for the radiator. Connect the bypass valve, which goes here, connects to here, and then put the bumper back on. Um, we broke our little razor, so I'm gonna end up having to Dremel it anyway, and then I'll just sand it, try to make it smooth. But yeah, we're making some good progress, so put you back on time lapse.
riding with this car for pretty much the whole day. Got it installed, got the front mount intercooler and the carbon fiber front grill. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I know it's in my garage, but we'll go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and uh, put links in the description down below. So if you guys want to pick up these mods, the parent front mount intercooler. Now be advised that the piping kit does not include the intercooler. I had to find that out the hard way. So I ordered the pipe, thought it had the intercooler included but had to buy the intercooler separately. But I love Parent products, so I've been using them since 2003 and absolutely love them. Now this uh, carbon fiber front grill, it's a Chinese company and they ended up sending it. it. Took like two months to get here after they made it and did all that kind of stuff, but totally love it and hope you guys like the video. Anyway, sorry I didn't get a lot of detailed shots. It was just crazy today and the batteries were dying and it was really hot, it was like 98 degrees. So it's like the boy band, 98 degrees. Anyway, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Next one I plan on doing a drive along. I'll have a GoPro and we'll go see how the car feels, see how it sounds. I already test drove it today. No boost leaks and it's running great. So catch you in the next one.